my Skibbity Toilet Collection that I just got today. Um, we went to a store. Just give me one second. They have a f Skibbity Toilet toy? Or is it Skibbity Toilet? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Hey guys, before the video continues, if you're new here or been here for a while, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button to help support me in future videos. Take it away, dude. My second horror daddy uploaded. And that is bizarre. Today is Scary Comp version 88. If you have skipped my last horror video, which was Nuke's recent upload, which was at that time, I'm not sure we uploaded a new one by the time this is posted, but it was the one that says top 10 scary ghost videos that will give you gravy pants, something like that. I was given two channels by my sister to go ahead and start watching or just to add into my arsenal of ghost reactions. There was Sir Spook and Slapped Ham. I watched a little bit of Sir Spook and I watched a little bit of Slapped Ham. It's in the same demographic as what Bizarre and Nuke does. But the thing I do want to ask you guys before I even start those two new channels, that's going to be plethora of more content, which is great. With Bizarre Bub, there's a lot of videos I have not watched on this channel. I skimmed through a lot of his older videos because my amazing friend Josh put very specific Bizarre Bub videos as well as some members of my community that also selected a few videos from Bizarre Bub in my Discord channel, which is called Scare Reacts. With the combination of my community, I skimmed through a lot of Bizarre Bub's videos, but not watching all the videos. I think there's a few videos in the 70s, like version 70s that I skipped, a few 60s, 50s, and all the way down to just the ones. The main premise of this long ass intro is just to ask you guys, do I just start reacting to Sir Spooks and Slap Ham once they start uploading? Or do it at the time to go through the ones I have missed in Bizarre Bub and then go to Sir Spooks and Slap to him. That's what I want to know. Do I go and complete Bizarre Bub's channel, then introduce the two new channels, or do I introduce the two new channels now while simultaneously start to do a few of Bizarre Bub's video? Let me know in the comment section below. Depending on the feedback is what I would do next. But on that note, we have Scary Comp version 88 from the legendary the second ghost daddy of mine's bizarre bub. Let's just get into it. Remember, Coast and Poppy and GlitchEnergy.com. On October 10th of 2023, a toy camera captures footage of a girl playing with her toys and talking about her day. The entire video is nothing more than just a miniature vlog. Well, like me in all the morning. she does is talk about her day and what she plans on doing with her friends in the following week. But there's something about this video that has left the girl's family deeply unsettled. It reminds me of the other girl who was playing with the... Sister's camera. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just going to show it, it to you. It reminds me of the, okay. the girl who was in the Spanish. Saying, but the video is pretty creepy. The following is the full video from the toy camera posted by the older sister. Take a look. And the camera has better okay, quality. Today, I'm going to show you my Skibbity Toilet Collection that I just got today. Um, we went to a store. Just give me one second. They have a fucking Skibbity Toilet toy? There's a Skibbity toilet toy or is a skibbity toilet oh brother this guy stinks all right let me just go back sticky natural get for the rizzler you're so skibbity you're so phantom tax <sighs> i just want to stop breathing Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my Skibbity Toilet Collection that I just got today. 
Um, we went to this toy store and they had all of these things like this cameraman, these tiny little action figures, this big scary toilet, and this one. And then we actually found these scary toilet shoes and they say scary toilet on them. And I'm going to wear it to school tomorrow. Bully her. <coughs> kids at school like scary toilet. Um, I, this generation, I'm, I'm just... I saw my friend the other day, and we went on a walk, and we also got ice cream that day, and I'm having a lot of fun. That's pure fear in her eyes. Is that fucking slender? Whoa. What starts off as an innocent video turns into something completely different. Midway through the footage, something catches her attention. But after seeing whatever it was, she's immediately put on edge. It's as if she was paralyzed with fear. But thankfully, she was able to leave before things got a whole lot creepy. Only a few minutes later, we see this. It's slender. A dark figure passes in front of the tent. It's hard to make out what this was, but her older sister is certain that this is what her sibling had seen. Now it's unknown if she's asked her about what she saw, as the only information on this video is the context she gave. But until there's an update, we won't know for sure what was there. So until then, you be the judge on what was captured. Yeah, she's petrified. Even though partly, I believe she deserves it because of the scooby the toilet. Ah... <sighs> I mean, I, I can't get mad at this generation that has the brain dead memes because my generation is the same fucking generation that had ow. my generation, the same generation that had this. In the early 2010s, Skibbity Toilet is the next G mod thing for Gen Z and Alpha. I'm just upset that it's just actually fucking licensed toys. There's actually licensed toys. Like I can only imagine, like, I understand what the hell this is. Imagine the mother. Imagine just, or the father. Dad, give me a skibbity toilet. Huh? In this next video, a grandmother is celebrating her birthday while being surrounded by friends and family, all of whom are singing happy birthday to her. As the video plays out, it seems that this footage is nothing more than just a normal video of someone recording their grandma, or mm -hmm. at least it seems like that. Because okay. as you continue to watch, something happens that makes this video the stuff of nightmares. This is what was caught. Pitch. As everyone collectively sings, a shadow-like figure bolts behind the grandma. In a swift motion, the figure is gone. It rushes over at full speed, but not so fast that we can't discern what this was. As viewers have noted, it kind of looks like a child, hey, like a little girl, to be exact, little was girl. running at an inhuman speed. Perhaps it was running so fast that no one had noticed it except the camera. Now this video becomes a whole lot creepier when reading the description it came with. As it states, the grandmother in this footage had a daughter who unfortunately passed away many years ago. When she was alive, she would often run around the house while playing with her older sibling. It's for this reason that she believes that this was her spirit. But as always, 
You be the judge on what was captured. I can see that. Was a ghost caught on camera? Or had something else been caught? Sure, the daughter's still around her. It's late at night when a man gets something on camera that leaves him extremely unsettled. The man recording this is known as Drosa, and on this night, he was looking after his little niece and nephew. Drosa. He was taking care of them man all by himself yeah. when his Hello. niece began to point at something Spiritual. in the dark. Drosa, their uncle, didn't think much of it until he noticed that she wouldn't stop pointing at the spot. Nothing appeared to be there, so Drosa wasn't sure as to what she was seeing. But as she kept on pointing, he began to think that maybe something is actually there. Feeling immensely unnerved, he records this video. Ow! Then this door is wide open over here, man. Or just, I don't know. That's <laughs> gonna be funny. Like looking over there, like there's someone over there. There you go. She's freaking me out. <laughs> Look, she's pointing. See, there's someone over there. I'm freaking out. Who are you pointing at? Who is he? How can we keep pointing? And throw the fire in that corner. Is he over there? I'm not really sure who it is, but yeah, she's like point upwards. They must be tall or something. Look, she's pointing again. Look, there's still a kid in there. His niece would not stop pointing at this spot for some reason. Even creepier is that she points towards the ceiling, suggesting that whatever is there is most likely tall. But as if things couldn't get any more creepy, Drosa records this. Yeah, she said something though. Like, it's crazy because, like, I know I'm just babysitting my niece and nephew. My nephew's right here. Then it's her, and then she keeps pointing at something. Hell no. You gotta oh. get out of here, man. You gotta leave, man. Honestly, you're not welcomed here. Leave. Wherever you are, leave. You're scaring my niece. Look, she keeps pointing at you. Get the f out of here, man. Just when things were getting tense, this happens. An object unexpectedly falls towards Droza and his niece. It's almost as though something had thrown it. Caught off guard, Droza is left speechless, but only to a certain point because later he vents his frustration with whatever it was that was messing with him and his niece. You gotta get out of here, man. You gotta leave, man. He then stops recording and decides to ignore it. Despite everything, he still, to this day, has no idea as to what his niece was seeing in no. this hallway. Dude, blow the house up. Berg, blow the house up. Just... At approximately 3 p.m., a mother grabs her phone to record something highly unusual that just happened. This okay. odd occurrence had taken place around the back entrance of the house. She films this video, hoping that it happens again, but only this time on camera. The only other time she's recorded this door was when one of her dogs had cracked the glass on the window pane. Although initially extremely upset, she now looks back at this memory with great nostalgia, as recently her dog was put to sleep. But fast forward to this exact day, and she's once again recording this door, when suddenly this happens. Even when it's open, it shows up. Move. Can you move? Can you move? She's taking the video. 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 It's coming back. It's a shot of a dog. Oh, it's got Derek in. Can you move? <laughs> My anger issues will put them back to where they came from. Yeah, did it just disappeared? It's coming back. Yeah. Yeah, the shape is back a little bit. That's Very. And now it's more intense.
Looking closely, a distinct outline can be made out. What looks to be the silhouette of a dog can be seen on the glass. Mm -hmm. It appears out of nowhere and stays in place as though waiting to be let inside. But it's only there momentarily before seemingly fading away. The family no doubt believes that this was the spirit of their belated dog who was sadly put down. Although deeply saddened, they're happy to know that their presence is still here. Ghost or not, this footage reassures them that even if they had no choice but to put them down, their beloved pet will always be there no matter what. Yep. They're still loved. Still loved. In the following video, a group of friends are playing with a toy known as Simon, when out of nowhere, things take a very creepy turn. Now it's worth noting this toy only has one function, which is to generate a pattern of lights and sounds for the player to memorize and win the game. Okay, so bam, bam. It's a simple game of short-term memory skill. However, in this video, it appears that the toy was acting beyond its intended purpose. Rather than generating patterns, it was answering questions. Huh? Okay, okay, I'll go, I'll go. Okay, is my shirt black? Oh. Dude, oh dude, it's, this thing is possessed, man. This thing is possessed. Uh, That's good, no. Am I a girl? You're a girl. Stupid. <laughs> oh! Okay, so it knows. Dude, it. Now the video was taken at a house party where a group of friends gathered in the hostess' little sister's bedroom. The young sister was away from home. They had grown bored of the party downstairs, so they hung out here with all the toys and games. But little did they know that staying up here was a big mistake. This is their video. Dude, it was acting up earlier. Yeah, it's crazy. You guys keep being here. I was, it was all good. Really? Hmm. This thing is possessed, man. This Literally thing is possessed. All right, okay, uh, ask me a question, ask me a question. What color is the sky? <laughs> Wait. Uh, I guess I need to ask yes or no. Is the sky <laughs> blue? <laughs> no! Dude, come and come ask it a question. It's probably just like messages. broken. Dude, dude, get over here. Ask it a question, dude. First of all, it's not even yours. Alright, let's really test it. It's kind of exhilarating. Dude. Yeah. Am I black? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 O
While the group has yet to come up with an answer, they can't help but think that the figure in the picture had something to do with this. Ghostface. Neighbors believe the toy was being used as a conduit for communicating with the group and that the drawing, which may be the child's so-called imaginary friend, was responding to them through this toy. Although it's not certain if that's the case, the friends fully believe that it was. What color is the sky? <laughs> Wait. Uh, I guess I need to ask yes or no. Mm -hmm. So then, just what exactly was going on here? As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. Burn it. Arson. This next video was recorded by a father who swears that something unexplainable was captured on his baby monitor. It was on December 20th of 2023 when this incident took place. Around 9 p.m., he and his wife were having playtime with their two kids before oh. going to bed. Oh, I thought they, I thought they were having games such as play time. hide and seek. But unlike mm. other times, something happens that to this day, the father can't explain. He records the footage of this incident on his phone. Take a look. Why did that scare me? It's on Prime. It's on Nobody there. Thinking that his wife or kid was hiding in the closet, he waits for them to come out. But unbeknownst to him, no one was inside. Understandably, the father was totally freaked out. As he, he should. That right before the door opened, he heard a voice. A uh, hi. Hi. Looking back at this clip, he can finally rest assured that he wasn't just hearing things, but rather having actually heard something. Despite having no explanation for this odd occurrence, the family has been getting comments from those who believe that something supernatural had occurred. But regardless of what this could have been, the family is adamant on keeping the closet locked. As they state, they'd rather forget about this whole incident and hope that it doesn't happen again. Burn the house down. If you caught something creepy on camera, or if there's any ghost videos you'd like me to check out and include in the next compilation, you can send them over to scaryvideos444 at gmail.com. That being said, let's get back to the video. Burn the house down. Now this next video comes from a woman named Morgan Lambert, who while being on a farm in the Appalachian Mountains, captures something pretty spooky on camera. The exact location of this farm is unknown, but Morgan mentions that the property is owned by her family, who've had more than a couple of paranormal experiences on this land. And it was the generational then. Morgan recording a silly moment with her husband, who came along with her to visit her family's farm. They're here to check the property, as recently strong winds have struck the place. But as she vlogs, something happens that prompts her to stop recording. Okay, as she's Morgan recording. Claims, recording. Her own voice was heard coming from the distance, beckoning to her husband. Mind you, she was right next to him when this happened. Take a look. She's recording a ghost farm funny moment video. No, you got it. So we're on an adventure. <laughs> check on the fence line to make sure no trees fell on it because we had like 50 mile an hour winds. We're going to check it instead of my dad. Oh, God. I'm freezing. Pretty. 
Oh god. What? I'm a spell. What did you say? I said, oh god. He hears what are you it. About? What? What are you talking about? We. Uh, I think we gotta go. We gotta go. Uh, I think we we'll gotta go. Take, it's, hey, don't run. Uh, it's okay. We're good. We're good. Um, yeah, that's definitely either a mimic or a skinwalker. Okay, it's okay. It's the Appalachian Mountains. It's hard to make out what's being said with all the wind in the background, but if you listen closely, the words baby and hey can be made out. But further adding to the weirdness of this incident is the fact that Morgan didn't hear anything. Based on the footage, her husband was the only one hearing the voice. I just said, oh God, because I not really Upon hearing it, mm. he was totally spooked. With no one else having been there, the question is begged. Just who, on this vast land in a secluded part of the Appalachians, was beckoning to the husband? Appalachians. This last video comes from Edgar V, and in this footage, Edgar is recording a toy mirror that belongs to his daughter. She's been My playing with this toy had ever that since one. Edgar's neighbor had given it to his family. They've had this toy for quite some time, yeah, but as old. of recent, they now think it's best to get rid of it. Edgar says that just a few nights ago, he was passing by his daughter's room when he heard her talking to the mirror. It sounded like she was having a full-blown conversation with someone else. Now, it should be noted that this mirror does actually talk. It would say pre-recorded things like, hello, or hi, I'm the magical mirror. But this time, it was saying things that didn't seem pre-recorded. From odd responses to creepy questions, the toy seemed almost alive. In this short clip, Edgar and his wife interact with the mirror. Okay. viewers mm. couldn't help but notice how quickly the toy responds. According to some, it seemed a little too fast for an average toy like itself. Some have mm. even pointed out that it shouldn't be speaking as they themselves have this exact toy, but theirs doesn't talk or say anything like Edgar's. It's for this reason that the family mm. decided to store the toy inside their shed. Over time though, Edgar's children would come in and mess with the toy. From scrapping mm -hmm. it to beating it up, a number has been done to this mirror. Because of this, Edgar had to replace some parts. But nevertheless, the toy still works. Mm. In this short clip, he shows the toy once again, as viewers want to see if it gives the same responses as last time. But as he films, he gets this. Mm. Mm -mm. Hola. Gracias, amigo. Me da gusto. Eres muy divertido. ¿Tienes una fiesta? Mm, no, no tengo fiesta. ¿Tú tienes? No sé. Cuando me levanté, te vi a ti. Ay, vas y chingas a tu madre. Just like before, the toy mm. talks back at the right time, as though responding like a real person. Yeah, it's the a fact that it also fast. says responses different from before has convinced the family that it's unlike any other toy. They think that it might be cursed or haunted. Whatever the case might be, they don't want to mess with it and think it's best if they keep it away from their home. To this day, the family has yet to know what exactly is going on with this toy. As always, let me know your thoughts on this one. You know it'll be fucking base if 
the company made one very special, unique one that has way more sayings and sold it. Like, I could, like, for example, let's just say I was the inventor of Toy Story, right? I invented Toy Story. I made the Woody and the Buzz and all of whatever. And I was Hasbro in charge of making the toys for Toy Story. And that's what I meant by inventor. Inventor of the actual toys, not the actual Pixar movie. That's the animators and stuff like that. But let's say that I'll be the inventor of how the toy is made for this Disney Pixar movie. Let's just say I get Woody to be the character I create for marketing purposes and so on. And I just think of five generic sayings, just Andy's my friend, there's a snake in my boot and just so long cowboy or yeehaw. Like, no things Woody says or things related to what Woody could say. Let's just say I'm conscious to make a million of those. So with a million, Let's just say with 999,999, I made them all say the same five generic saying, but I made one with 15. And especially this generation with AI being scarily accurate and just becoming this whole level of scariness. Maybe there's an AI type of thing. It works for this. Who knows? I don't know, but I just think it's interesting. It's the response rate is way too quick, especially for an older toy. I thought it was this one that my sister had, but there's a different variation that my sister had. It was not this one. I, or it may have been this one, but obviously for the English version, I don't know. Most likely my sister will be in the comment section explaining what it was or whatever. I, I don't know why I kind of have remnants of seeing something like this in our toy room growing up, which then turned to our bedroom. On that note, I don't know. The response time, there was no delay. With older toys, you ask them a question, it will feel like you're talking to fuck Adora. Just go that way. You said that way? Which way should I go? Behind you. Behind me? Yes, behind you. Okay, we'll go backwards. Like it was extremely delayed back then. That's just my opinion on it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you do, please, if you don't remember the beginning of the video, Sir Spooked and Slapped Ham are two channels that's like Bizarre and Nuke. I need your feedback. Do I go through all of Bizarre Bub's videos first and then introduce Slap Ham and Search Spooks? Or do I just introduce those two channels and little by little go through Bizarre Bub's videos? Let me know in the comment section below. I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.